Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. I thought I'd come in here with a quick video because we all know it's a lot that's been going on behind the scenes on YouTube, and I'm honestly baffled and still a bit confused as to what's actually going on, how it started, and why we're here. And I know a lot of you guys want me to talk about the topic, and I probably will still talk about it, but one thing that I just thought was so funny Nobody got in Queen Sheba's chat and told her that she shouldn't be talking to Dunn because she's not a reality star. Nobody told her, oh, let him come up and talk. Nobody told her, oh, don't talk about him if he can't come up and defend himself. But every last one of those people that said that to me were in Queen Sheba's chat having a ball, which is another reason I feel like YouTube are full of people that were discarded when they were younger and now got a little popularity because morally they don't live up to the same standards as they try to hold other people to and i'm confused i don't know if it's jealousy or what but i truly applaud queen sheba for being what this sector of YouTube need. Because realistically, it'll just be a whole bunch of beefs being thrown around all over the place. If we didn't have somebody that created a safe space that didn't really include all of that stuff. But that's not what we hear. Let's get into this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. And I honestly want you guys to go over to my community feed and answer the question that I posed on my last post. Because I'm truly baffled and I wanna know what was the difference? I really understand what the issue is and it has everything to do with jealousy, but I just want to know. So with everything going on behind the scenes, Mel has taken her annual break. We all know Mel takes a break from social media after the reunion. We do know that they filmed the reunion a few weeks ago. Mel had been posting for about a week just before she went on her break. And it really must be hard to be Mel because every time she turn around, her name is being thrown in the blog or she's being connected or or attached to somebody and she don't even know what's going on and before we start it's really safe to say that everything that you guys have been seeing circulating on youtube with male's face on it it has nothing to do with male male manager got herself in a bit of a pickle with another content creator and we may or may not talk about that in another video it depends i'm still trying to see how y'all feel about that question that i posed on my community feed because i really want to know what was the difference love so while male is on her break everybody is in an up war and they're not in the up war for anything that she's actually done but Mel is a businesswoman and she said while y'all down there scrapping get locked and loaded it looks like she had been planning some fall winter releases and I'm super excited this is something that I wasn't even expecting so while Slorion is over there trying to catch up with the lemon drop we're on to something new y'all have to get in the comments and let me know what you guys think of pumpkin spice I am a pumpkin spice girl this is pumpkin spice season sidebar wouldn't it have been cool if Mel would have released some type of dark face mask or a black face mask and be like charcoal or something for Halloween. Mel, if you listening, that's your get with that. Also, Mel, if you listening, the girls have been hitting me up. They need something for Dark Mark. Now, I don't know what y'all analytics say, but I would only assume that majority of your customers are black women dark marks, acne, scarring, hyperpigmentation, etc. Some people may even have issues with PCOS. And if you guys are familiar with PCOS, then there are then you know that there are scars that can come after you heal your PCOS. So Mel, I'm telling you, this is a whole thing right here. We need something for the dark mark. Even though realistically, when you guys are exfoliating two to three times a week, you're already helping with getting rid of the dark marks and getting rid of the dead skin. We really need something that is proactive and catered to dark marks. Y'all get in the comments and let me know what you guys think about all of that. So it looks like Mel has snuck this just up under our nose. And if you are a frequent 7th Avenue shopper, then you would have saw this because she posted this literally 
on her homepage of the website. So granted, just cause Mill taking a social media break don't mean she stopped working. We all know she works a million jobs. Now it looks like while everybody's on YouTube arguing, Mill is working something up. She's seemingly dropping a, another lip scrub, which is a pumpkin spice. And she's also dropping a pumpkin spice facial scrub. Do you think she's gonna make this a body butter as well? We all know like, just because she's showing us these two doesn't mean she's not going to throw a surprise in there. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, the lip scrub and a body scrub, the scrubs as a whole are going to be her best investment in my opinion. I don't know her analytics. I'm just saying these are the things that I love the most and I see y'all love these products the most as well and the oil. But when you look at Mel and you look at her face, her skin is always even and smooth, free of blemishes. So it only makes sense that she would continue to uh, keep pushing the facial scrubs as well as the lips. You know, I'm not trying to be a weirdo, but Mel do have an appealing lip type, if that makes any sense. I don't even know if that makes any sense. And I don't want to sound like a weirdo, but Mel has nice lips. So her continuing to put out lip scrubs makes the most sense. Also, you need flavors of lip scrubs and body scrubs. You know what I'm saying? So I love the fact that she continues to push out the scrub. I know we be asking for a lot, but you know. Can we get another scent in the in the oil? We love the oil. So not only will she be dropping this pumpkin spice collection literally the 1st of November, she's also going to be dropping the apple cinnamon. Now, I'm buying everything, so I'm going to let y'all know how it goes for the people that are on the budget and have to choose or have to wait on a review to see. I'm going to be real with y'all. When I think of apple cinnamon, I think of candles and candles only, which is why I was kind of interested when she posted this because I don't know if I really ever had an apple apple cinnamon body scrub or body butter or lip scrub or anything so I'm not gonna lie I don't know how the apple cinnamon will turn out but I am intrigued I'm curious to know about that y'all get in the comments and let me know do you guys own any type of apple cinnamon products like beauty products and I'm also interested to know what are the benefits to the use of cinnamon as well so I'm excited about these I'm gonna be getting everything y'all get in the comments let me know if you guys are gonna be shopping and getting these products as well well. So we know the new episode of Love and Mary Transville comes on today at 8 p.m. And today we're going to get the scene where Kiki flips the water in Letitia's face. When they first played this scene, I didn't know Mill was also there. I didn't think Mill was there at the gathering at all, but it looks like Mill was there. Let's go ahead and break down this clip. If you guys don't want to see or hear me break the clip down, I'll upload a separate video without me talking over it, but it's not that long. You wanna be mad, be mad, get glass, scratch your ass. I don't give a Why would you do that? Letitia don't speak properly when she's happy. So to hear the way that she speak when she's upset is 10 times funnier. She could barely say, why would you do that? And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't feel any ways about Letitia getting drenched with water because her time is here. She's been throwing rocks and hiding her hands since the show started. I'm so glad she got her cousin on this show to get right with her ass. We're not, hey guys, we're not really and one thing I want y'all to pay attention to when this episode come on is the way Marceau responds to the producers. He's looking at all of the producers and he's holding Letitia's hand so she doesn't get up. And he's saying to the producers, hey, yeah, no, guys, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do this. In my opinion, that tells me Marceau gets to call shots on what scenes he wants to be shown and what scenes he don't want to be shown. After Letitia got drenched with water, he was too comfortable with saying, no, nah, we're not going to do that, holding his hands up as if they're supposed to stop filming. Mind you, it is my opinion that Marceau and Letitia already have a contract with the producers and Carlos to not reveal or speak about their infidelity. Hey, I'm telling you, we're not doing this. Stupid ass. Hey, yeah, hey, I hey, know. Hey, 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 chill out, chill out. Chill out. So this was Listen to Marceau. And sidebar, the way Letitia say stupid ass when she mad, it just, it really tickles me. So the biggest takeaway from this is when y'all watch the show, pay attention to how Marceau responds. He responds as if he's calling shots on what they will be filming or not. And the way that he's holding Letitia and telling her to calm down, in my opinion, is another reason why I say he don't like his wife. Letitia going back and forth with her cousin Kiki splashing that drink in her face will have, in my opinion, started up a fight to where they were mutually exposing one another. Marceau can't let that happen. 
to their family. Let my cousin throw a drink in my face and I'm on her ass. And let my man try to hold my hand to keep me from whooping my cousin ass. I'm then going to give him the nastiest look and he going to let me go and he going to follow me over there while I whoop her ass to make sure don't nobody jump in. But I don't know, maybe Marceau was doing this because of the cameras, but Marceau has never protected his wife in front of the cameras. He literally laughed in his wife's face over his midday's work surprise. Now that, we ain't never getting past that. So I don't know. Y'all get in the comments and let me know. In my opinion, he should have let Tisha do what she had to do because it's her cousin. <laughs> but then again, I don't know. Maybe they're trying to save face on camera. But like I said, he's never protected her on camera. So why now? Oh, we all now. Oh, oh, yeah, that's exactly what we male looking like ooh, the ghetto and can somebody tell me were they at kimmy house i can't wait to see how kimmy is going to step in and try to defend leticia or even stormy but even when you see the clips of marceau walking around saying call the police sidebar why is he always trying to call the police on people he tried to call the police on martel a few seasons ago so you hear marceau throwing her under the bus she's a drug addict call the police this that and a third he's not in my opinion protecting his wife he's creating a diversion but we'll see I'm going to break it down. That's all I got for y'all today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. You want to be mad, be yeah. mad, yeah. get glad, scratch your ass. I don't give a <laughs> Why would you do that? We're not, hey, guys, Why would we're not you doing that? Ignore that. Hey, I'm telling you, we're not doing this. Stupid ass. Hey, yeah, hey, I hey, know. Hey, 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 chill out, chill out. So this is what we on now. Hey, 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 yeah, that's exactly what we on. Okay. Doing. Okay. Yeah. I pull up, roll the window, turn it.